I know Houston is hot. In fact, today, what have we been telling you? Our highs topping 100 degrees. But some areas are hotter than others despite close proximity. And it may have to do more with socioeconomics than science. New at 6 o'clock tonight, Tracy and Bragg takes a look at new heat mapping and explains how this information will be used to cool those areas down. On a day like today, when it feels like temperature is expected to be over 100. Well, I'm standing here in the Gulfton community. I'm clearly sweating. As you can see, I've been sweating for a while. But this heat gun is going to help us learn exactly what the temperature is like here on this pavement. Take a look at this 144 to 143 degrees Fahrenheit. Well, how different is that from where the shade and canopy is? Take a look at this 110 degrees Fahrenheit. Where you are in Houston, you can be experiencing heat really differently. Dr. Stephanie Piper studies the heat's impact, and earlier this month, she says her organization, the Houston Advanced Research Center, held the largest single-day heat mapping campaign in the U.S. The goal of that is to get a really good picture of, across the entire city of Houston as well as Harris County as a whole, what the heat looks like, where there are hot spots. Dr. Piper and her team are still analyzing that data and plan to make this new round of data available to the public by early next year, but says a previous study in 2020 revealed a potentially troubling pattern. We do see higher heat in lower income areas. This is this phenomenon in urban ecology called the luxury effect where higher income neighborhoods have higher tree cover. Tree cover acts as a natural protection from the sun and Piper says lower income neighborhoods often have fewer trees and far more concrete surfaces. The concrete is just going to suck up all that heat and hold that heat even as you know the sun goes down. The 2020 study showed a 17 degree temperature difference between the hottest and coolest neighborhoods in Houston. Gulfton, where we met Dr. Piper, was one of the hottest zones in the entire city. I've talked to residents where they're standing at the bus stop and they're so hot that they feel like fainting. Sandra Rodriguez has spent nearly her entire life in Gulfton. One park in a three square mile radius. That is like that is unacceptable. It's why Rodriguez and the Gulfton Super Neighborhood Council are pushing to plant more trees. So we're here in the community of Gulfton still, but this time at a green space. This is Burnett Balin Park, not far from where we were earlier. We want to see how much of a difference all this green space makes. So if you remember earlier, our temperature was about 10 to 15 degrees hotter in the heat where we were earlier in all that concrete. What about in the shade? The temperature here now, Again, another 10 to 12 degrees cooler here, surrounded by greenery. And now Dr. Piper and her organization will be increasing that greenery using their 2020 research and the data from this month's heat mapping to guide them as they plant 50,000 trees in the Houston neighborhoods that need them most. In Houston, Trace and Bragg, KHOU 11 News. If you would like to see where your neighborhood ranks when it comes to the heat, we have an interactive map online right now at KHOU.com. Yeah, it's uh, it's pretty fascinating to see that. That was a great report. Yeah, yeah. Uh, more trees. But as you point yeah. out, David, trees are uh, costly to keep and maintain. And to her point, it, it, luxury effects. So yeah. trees add to property value. Mm -hmm. So more trees and the property potentially is more expensive. Yes. And this is why organizations like Trees for Houston yeah. are so important that provide trees at low cost. They study it, free. they see it, let, let's go do something what an about interesting it. Interesting report, really yeah. learn something.